Hello, Prim friends. So I'm coming to you today from the Cape on the corner. And we're at a little bit of a different angle. I didn't come in from, or I came in from the side porch, but I thought I would show you from coming in from the front door area. So all of the walls have been painted. All of the trim has been painted. The floors on this floor here are done. Um, they still have to put the molding on and I was so excited to be able to do the video tonight and it's all covered in this like corrugated cardboard. So that is not going to work. But I'm going to tell you tonight what the color of the front door is. So I'm curious, go ahead and comment below what your guess is or what your guess was and we'll see, um, see who guessed. So, yeah, I'm just so tickled with how it all kind of turned out here. Um, there was just so much mental drama in my own head. You know, how much should the overhang be at the tops there? And I just feel like it was for this location, for this home, that it was just the right amount there. If I remember right, we went with just a half an inch. Have these beautiful deep window sills, and coming over this way, then here is sort of a living room area, seating area, family room, and here is where the uh, dining room table is going to be, and here's our kitchen. I did not want many uppers. This long run of cabinets, that's almost 17 feet long of a run with the uh, window above. Again, one of my biggest issues or concern over the color, the trim color, what we were going to go with was how it was going to play off of these kitchen cabinets. And thankfully, the, the trim molding when it was installed all had, uh, it's all poplar, four inch poplar, and it was all already primed in white. And that really helped me know that I just did not want a white or even alabaster like in our previous home for the trim. Because with as many windows as are in this house and downstairs here, it just didn't it just didn't add anything. It was pretty, but it just didn't add anything. So with that color that we have here, which is, we went with a color from, it's a color match of a Pharaoh and Ball, which is a, a British company. They have a color called Pantalon. So this is a Sherwin-Williams, made color uh, match of that pantalon. And actually pantalon is now in uh, retired color from Pharaoh and Ball. We've got some hard board on top of all the cabinets and the countertops have been installed. It is a granite that's called steel gray. What I really liked about that was that it gave us the feeling of a slate, I'm sorry, a soapstone but was much harder. So if you can kind of tell here, the kitchen sink cabinet bumps out a bit from the rest of the cabinets. And of course they're all taped and have plastic over them to protect them. But um, it is bumped out here in the front kind of as an accent. And then I did not want a backsplash and I really don't want tile either. I like that crisp contrast between the black, dark gray background and the alabaster walls. And so what we decided to do was just a backsplash, six inches of the steel gray granite right up behind the sink. So almost sort of that farmhouse sink sort of a style with the backsplash just behind just behind the sink and then yeah so it's a little hard to well it's impossible really to see but the sink itself is a black 
quartz composite material. So I'm really excited to see what that's going to look like when the faucet is installed. And then we have this extra hole that's been cut here, and that is for the push button control for the disposal. So now, if anybody who knows me, they know that I am left-handed. The hole for that is on this side. If you know me, you probably know why that's the case, why that's on the right-hand side. Um, my husband is just sort of a water bug, and so I know it's going to be him that's using and pushing that button way more than I am. So that was the reason why when he asked which side do you want it on, I said go ahead and put it on the right-hand side. You will be using it more often than I am. So have you decided yet? Have you commented below what color the, the front door is? Here is the pantry with those, uh, I just love these. Mm, yes, Jim, pocket doors. Absolutely love the pocket doors. I just, I so wish we didn't have the covering on there, but I'm thrilled that they take so much pride in the work that they've done that they do want to protect it. So, so for right now, we'll have the, that corrugated cardboard on there, hopefully. That does protect it from, from anything else, maybe certain things that would get dropped on it. So the knobs are all on. I could not be happier. The corner lazy Susan door that had to be something adjusted on it, that's been done. Around the corner here, the laundry there on the right side, coat closet on the left hand side, and the little powder room downstairs here on the first floor and what we decided to do with the granite in here is to sort of do a little bit of an accent with the um, curve along the back side again just to give it that slightly more historic look and feel of an early of an early vanity so I'm really, really happy with that. And I'm just wondering if you have figured out yet, if you've commented below, I'm trying to give people enough time to hurry up and comment below what color um, you think we ended up painting or having painted the front door. Now, if you've, just as a little hint, one of the things that really was a big deciding factor in that color is that that direction the house faces west and we get the most incredible sunsets on the west side out the front windows they are going to be absolutely just just glorious so actually that was really kind of a deciding factor when when all, with all things considered and all these things sort of put together um, so I, I kind of skipped ahead. So one of the things that happened with the, with the trim molding, I, I was agonizing over what color should we go with because it needs to go with the kitchen cabinets. And my husband, when I was, you know, I'm sure making that face, he looked at me and said, I want contrast. Do contrast. Because, you know, we could go sort of contrasty, but not much, if we had gone with the Revere Pewter, like our kitchen cabinets are. But when he said, go contrast, then I had the answer. I knew at that point that what we needed to go with was that Pharaoh and Ball color, which is really different in every room. It's different depending on how the light hits it, the color really changes. And once that color was on all of the trim and on the stairs, it totally changed the look and feel of the house. That right there is what made the house really start to feel like it was a historic home. 
So you can see it here in this entrance. They did do a beautiful job color matching the stain for the railing and the stairs. The stairs are also poplar. There's, you know, some construction dust on there. But the color is just such a beautiful match to our flooring, which is actually an LVP product. If you had told me, you know, a year ago that I would want to be having LVP in the house, I would have said that you were crazy. But thankfully, where we're living now temporarily after we had sold our house has the LVP I fell absolutely in love with it. You can move furniture on it. It's a breeze. I can, you can, I can move a cabinet by myself. And there's no damage, no scratching. Now, of course, you want to get one that has the, the proper mill. You know, I think ours is, I think ours is 20. Um, but that does make a definite difference. All right, so. The sunsets were a big deciding factor in what we were going to go with with the color for the front door. So have you, I'm going to give it another 30 seconds here and then I'm going to do the big reveal. But that was a huge factor in the deciding, deciding on the color of what the front door should be. See you in a minute. All right. Well, it's absolutely beautiful day here in Ohio. It's starting to dry up a little bit, but they say that in the next, uh, I think by tomorrow, we're supposed to get some more rain. I'm gonna really be happy when that pile is gone. They have not done the, um, well, they did the excavating to dig the hole. Oh, they haven't done the final grading. So the other thing that we did uh, today was pick out the stone that we're going to use for the front step and then also a stone that will be at the side port um, so we'll see when those get delivered I know the dandelions are just awful but they say that they're wonderful for the earliest of pollinators so we will just sort of tolerate them right now. We had a terrible windstorm that took down the frame of my greenhouse. Just made me sick. It's a vintage English greenhouse that is has an aluminum frame. So all right, well, I think it is time for the big reveal. And I will kind of give you an explanation then for for where I came to this decision. So, with the beautiful sunsets, I kept thinking to myself and knowing that the front of the house, with it being white, absolutely glows in the evening, in the sunset. The color of the oranges and the rose and the fuchsias just, I mean, it really makes the house look like a flower, like a bloom. And at that moment, I thought, well, every bloom needs a stem. And Mother Nature gets it right. And it, it I just knew then that the front door needed to be that color, that greenish, brownish sort of stem, leaf color for our home. And actually, it's kind of funny then, you could take it a little bit further and say that all of the trim molding inside is sort of the vine and the doors are the leaves. So I know that's taking it a little bit too far. But when the sun set, and I've been waiting for a gorgeous sunset to capture a picture of it with that color. But you know, I know the thought was of a blue or um, maybe a squash, kind of a pumpkin color. Um, uh, some have said a black. 
Um, we Our last house had a color that was just an absolutely gorgeous golden yellow sort of a color. Um, and it's a Sherwin-Williams color, I think called tassel or golden tassel or something like that. And it's a beautiful color on a, on a linen colored house. But this house is going to reflect the color of the sunset. And so the front door just needed to be an anchor. And that rich green brown sort of leafy stem sort of a color just ended up being in my mind sort of the perfect sort of the poetic solution and we have now chosen a stone that will go across that front um, Oh, what is that called? There's a footer there that's built specifically for that. So we have a stone that will be about 88 inches um, that will come out from, you know, be about, I think, 7 inches tall and then 88 inches wide to cover side to side, not from to the front. So I can have my, my flower urns, my pots and things like that. Those can be on the front of that concrete portion. So I'm excited about the light fixtures going in and those kind of things happening. The upstairs uh, flooring still needs to happen, plumbing, electrical, all those fun, you know, all those fun last minute, vitally important kind of pieces. But I think once, um, once the ground has been regraded and leveled, that's really we realized that the house has a very different kind of a feel because it's sort of sitting so far up out of the ground right now. So you take a step off of the porch or a step off of the um, off of the front door, and that's that is quite a drop. So we'll go ahead and sort of do a quick little walk here around the side, and I'm really looking forward to. I have a. Um, I did pick it up at Meander Hill. I had done a video from there and there were some beautiful baskets with a silk um, a silk geranium in it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's going to look like hanging on that door. I, uh, you know, we had some options. We could have maybe gone with a black those um, grids are in inside between the two parts of the window but I didn't want to introduce yet another color and with the accent pieces that I'm going to be hanging on that door it's just going to fade away I think the white with the white and then the accent of that color is just really going to pop especially when we get the light fixture on um, a couple of the port there will be two porch posts that will be here so we can hang hang a flag and all that good stuff. So, did you pick the color? I'm curious. I'm curious how many people might have gotten it right. It's not exactly probably what you would have expected. The side door here, if you can see, that looks much more brown. It all, even the, even the uh, brick mold that's around it has more of the greenish tone and the door has the brown tone. It's all about the light, you guys. Even when you agonize over a white for the interior for your walls, it is all about the light. So you really have to decide or pick a color that uh, reacts in, in all of the different rooms in the way that you like. I We had alabaster in our last home and I really loved it. There was never it was never too much. There wasn't too much yellow. There wasn't too much of anything. And I just really love that color. So that is it for tonight, guys. Um, keep watching. I've got some more plans for another one here coming up. So keep watching. Oh, one more thing. I, I know a lot of you have seen the video of the Simple Good Show. An amazing, fabulous show. I love that episode. The, the, pieces just really speak for themselves but I had posted a video literally hours before that of the 
earlier times show. So you might, you might have missed seeing that episode. So make sure to go back um, and check out that episode of the earlier times show as well. So take care, everybody. Have a blessed week.